Hi, welcome. I'm going to show you how to make these earrings. Pretty cool design, huh? I like it. But anyway, I wanted to, I need to digress just a little bit. I was working on a new design and I had sketched it out and I created this pretty bad, right? But what I learned from this fail was if I was going to do just two single wires down the middle, I would hammer it. And this was just go cheap gold um, plated. So I don't hammer plated wire. And then I tried it again thinking if I added beads, little crystals, that might make it a little more stable. Still fail. What I didn't like was the open spaces in here. So if you like open spaces in here, use silver wire or copper wire, hammer it down and then shape it, hammer it around your shape, <coughs> your whatever tool you're going to use to shape it with, and then do that. Here's my next prototype that I made. And I used, uh, the core wires are 20 gauge wires. And this one is more of a, a pointed oval. I don't know how to I don't know how to uh, describe that, but I used 20 gauge wires and uh, for the core and 26 gauge wires to wrap the coils and to do the um, the weaving chunky little too chunky. If you like chunky, that's fine, but that's not what I was going for. So this is the other half of that earring that I just created. And I will show you how I shaped shaped this. But I want to get to now now I want to get to how I made it. So I've got one made here. And this one is different. I'm cutting a I should have told you this in the beginning, right? I cut one or for earrings two five inch pieces of 20 gauge two pieces of 20 gauge that are 20 inches for this one this one was 24 okay so depending on what design you want to go with this one we're going to do just a, a straight piece and I might hang a little dangle at the bottom. I don't know yet. And I wrapped. Uh, this one is silver. The 20 inch piece is gold. And then I took a piece of black wire. 28 gauge. And I coiled it around one side. So let's get to making what I did here. I just did a 3-3 weave. And where's my wire? My 28 gauge is, oh, I probably started out with 9 feet for the the big one. For this one, I just started out with 6 feet. And it, it'll be enough to do both. <coughs> Excuse me. So anyway, we're going to wrap 5 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Pinch it together. We're going to cut off that piece right there. Toss that away. And now we're going to smash that down a little bit so that it gets um, smooth against the core wire because we don't want to have any pokey bits. So now I'm going to slide this down. And I'm going to get it to the other side. Just like that. Okay. And 
and my wire is going down. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create kind of like a channel and I'm going to go five times on this side. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So now we've got a little channel for our core wire to set in. So I'm going to just take my thumb and my finger and this is the fiddly part and I'm going to bring the wire down and I'm going to wrap three times around one, two, and three. One, I'm going to wrap three times around one and two. One, two, three, and now my wire is going down, so now I'm going to come up between one and two, and I'm going to go around three times around two and three. One, two, and three. Okay. So now we've got this and we need to get it cinched down as close as we can just like that and I want just a little a little more wire out here for if I decide that I want to make a loop here to create a little dangle and you don't have to do this but I'm going to just give it a little smash and a pinch. All right, so now I bent my wires a little bit, so let's straighten that back up. And for this one that I'm going to do that's straight, that'll hang just like this, I'm going to do 12 repeats. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And that's an inch. Yours might be a little bigger or a little smaller depending on how you cinch your wires. <coughs> Excuse me. So you go along and you do your ten or your twelve repeats for a one inch length. For a three inch length, you're going to do 40 of these repeats, which is what I did here on this one. Actually, it's three and a quarter. So let's get everything back in order here. We'll finish wrapping. This doesn't take very long, but I like the versatility in this idea because you can do circles, you can do rectangles, you could do diamonds, you could do crescents. Um, you can create the ear wire to go as a straight back. You can create them to do this if you want. Or that. The, the options are pretty much endless. You can change this weave to whatever you want. You just want to make it a solid color. so that it looks like a solid. So let's see how many have I got here. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to give these a squish and a pinch. So this will be five. You don't 
you can do this for as long as you want actually you don't have to do 12 if you want it shorter than that you go ahead whatever you want so we're coming up on six one two three There, this is going to be seven. The only problem I had with making these, this one, was I kept losing track of all my repeats. So I had to count and count and count and count. I don't know how many endless times I, I lost track and... But it's all good, right? As long as you have the same. And there is another issue with if you get to the point where you have 40 or 10 on each. And one is longer than the other. That means you just cinched one a little further down than you did the other. So what you have to do is just go in there and tweak it and smush a little bit at a time. You know, just a few at a time. Squeeze them down. Like I'm doing with my thumbnail that doesn't exist. Just like that. So let's see, I've got my core wire is still on top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <coughs> Excuse me. That's ten. Two more. Two, three. Three. And you want your earrings to be mirror image, so we'll cover that in a second here. I got this done. Now, here's a hint. If you were going to keep your wire the same color, you don't have to cut this off. I just want to check to see if I've got these equal distant. Yes, everything's equal. So now what I'm going to do is... In this case, I'm going to wrap three times around the center wire and snip it off on the top piece because we don't want it poking into the, the ear. So there's one, two, whoops, I missed the wire. There's three, and we're going to bring it back up to the top. And we're going to snip it off. Give that a little pinch. I gotta pull that out. You can still feel it. Okay. So now we've got this tree. <laughs> and I've got a coil here that is about two and a quarter inches. I didn't want to have to waste time showing you how to do that. You all know how to wrap a coil. So I put this one on the left side, and this one is going to go on the right side. And we'll feed it on. And give it a good smush. Okay. Oop, losing my plier. <coughs> Excuse me. I got something in my throat here. 
All right, we're going to do this one first. I'm going to bend the wire across the center core wire. And now I'm going to try to create a tiny, tiny spiral. I want to get it as small as I can get it. And this gold wire, this gold plated wire is a little harder actually to work with uh, than copper. And I don't know why. But we're just going to go with it. Alright, so I think that that's small enough. And now the black wire, you could do this in a sapphire blue. Would that not look cool? But I just wanted to try a classic look with silver, gold, and black. Now we're going to bring this around. And we're following the wire. Since this is one inch long, I made the coil twice as long. On this one with three and a quarter, I made it six inches long. But as you can see, I ended the coil at the back. So if you want the coil to come up to the front and finish off, that's fine. I personally don't care for trying to twist that center wire with coil on it. I just don't like the look of it myself. If, But only because I can't seem to make it look good. It just does not... look really spectacular okay so i just wrap the black coil because that's the center coil because it's closest to the base now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create this wire to follow the black Just like that. Okay. So now, what I think I'm going to do, and in this case, I'm going to um, create a cover. See how at this point, you can still see the bottom? I don't want to do that on this one. I want to be able to see, I, I don't want to be able to see it. So what I'm going to do is hold these wires after I get them in place, bring this around, and create my little loop, just like that. Now I can cut this down. So you can see with 20 inches on this one inch piece or one inch earring. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. Or I just cut off five inches. So you could do this with 10. But I wouldn't go, I wouldn't, I, I would actually maybe cut it 12 because you don't, you don't want to actually work with nothing. I'm going to bend this end down just a titch because I don't want it poking up. All right. Now, oh, where are my... I'm going to grab this at the tip of my pliers. Create a little spiral there. And I'm going to give that a smash. Alright, so now this is just going to follow around. And I think what I'll do for this one is I'm just going to keep wrapping here. And we'll tuck this back underneath. Right about there. Okay. 
And now we need to tuck it in to go underneath this gold wire right here. So I'm just going to very carefully lift that up, tuck it. Oh, it went the wrong spot. I don't want to mark my wire because plated wire really it chips bad. Uh, I'm heavy handed. But you all know that about me now. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know. <coughs> Excuse me. get that underneath that there we go and now we'll give that a smash very carefully don't like that it's an oval so now I need to try to Make it round. Cool. Okay. Got that one. Now we're going to do the same thing with this one, only mirror image. So I need to keep that right there. Save that for another earring. Go across. Gonna try to make that little tiny spiral again. It's a little smaller, so we need to back it off. Bring that out, push this down, follow it around. Okay, so now we've got that, and the black wire has got to come back around first because it's closest to the base. And here is the, it's, this is, might be a little tricky. Because you could easily, put it too low. And that, but that looks like it's pretty close. Now this has got to follow it around. Looks close. So now this is going to come to the back. And what did we do? I think we went this way. <laughs> we made a loop. And we cut it off. Right about there. 
and we cut off another five inches so now That looks good. I'll give it a smash. Get this back in the line. And then that'll come back here. lift these up a little bit so that I can tuck that wire in there. Oh! Before I tuck it, I gotta see if I screwed it up. I did. Tuck that in. Very pretty. I like them. What do you guys think? Nice. Okay. Let's make the other half of this. We're going to bend this. I have this beadsmith tool where you can take these little things off and make different shapes. Like it. But what I did was I uh, wrapped it around and then made this teardrop. So I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Okay, we've got that. Now we just need to give that just a little bit of a shove. Okay. Lovely. Right now I'm going to take my flat nose pliers and I'm going to put it right in here. See how I did this right here? It's the width of the pliers. Put that down there like that, and I'm going to give it a bend. I want a nice crisp bend right there. Make that a little bit straight. Now I need to cut it to match. I'm having a hard 
Okay, I'm holding these together here. We'll get it. Okay, matching earrings. Aren't they lovely? I love this design. On these, we're going to do a, pin, a straight back post. So I'm going to come in here right to where that wire is coiled and I'm going to bend it straight like that. Just like that. Do the same thing on this one. Get right down on where that wire is. Coiled and bend it straight back. And if you get a little bump, a bump in it like that, that's fine. Just take your flat nose pliers. Just give it a light pinch. It also work hardens it. And now we need to measure um, half inch. So from there to there. Well, let's do five eighths. Half inch does it. Some people might have bigger lobes, thicker lobes than others, so let's do five eighths. Okay, that takes care of that. And now, oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I forgot my camera with tripod was hooked to this drawer. I was looking for my file. Just take any file. A fingernail file will work as well. And just file this. File the edges so that it doesn't scratch the ear when it goes into the ear hole. And I think that I am going to go ahead and put a little dangle on this. So I will uh, pause the video just really quick and get a couple beads. And we'll make them up really fast. I was trying to keep this under 30 minutes and I just see that I failed. But I promise, we're done. We're almost done. So, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. We're going to make these little loops here. I'm just going to create and I got too much wire so I need to cut some of it off um, always cut off less than what you think you need to cut off because you're going to need to make sure you leave enough okay I got one done here I'm going to clip this wire off Finish that loop. And now I will open it up and feed it in. And then we will push it back down. And I think I want to turn this so that 
that does not look like a Cute. What do you think? All right. I have an eye pin here. I'm going to feed it through. Pinch this. Push it back. Bring that around. Cut it. Oh, if I can. Come on. <sighs> Finish bending that. Now we need to bend it back straight. Did not work. There. Push that back straight. Now we'll open it. We'll put it on this loop here. And we will close it. Look at that. Now you can get yourself some earring backs. These are, I, mean, I don't know, they were just something that I bought off of Amazon. Um, I, I think I got like a thousand. Just push that right on there. And you got yourself some earrings. Aren't they cute? That's kind of hard to show these off, isn't it? Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. I, I um, Let me know in your comments what you think. If you're going to try these even. I want to know if you're going to try them. Enjoy. I'll see you next time. Oh, don't forget to subscribe, like, share. That always helps my channel. And I have a PayPal account. If you found this really helpful, drop me a tip in the tip jar. See you later. Bye.